Hello YouTube, this is Daz the Cameraman. Today is Thursday, February 25th, 2016, and this is a follow up to my video debunking the nose down myth for flat earth believers. It seems that some people have difficulty understanding relative motion or relativity, so we're going to take a look at that in this video. In my debunking the nose down myth video, some people protested that the aircraft was stationary but the earth was rotating underneath it. This is because they don't understand relative motion, so let's take a look at this from another angle. Here is a time lapse video filmed from the International Space Station, which of course the flat earthers will claim is fake, CGI, a hoax and all the rest of it. But let's take a look at this as it would look like if we were filming out through the cockpit window of our aircraft. This is exactly what our cockpit window view would look like as we were flying over the earth. Remember that this is a time lapse video so it is a lot faster. As we are flying forwards it appears from our perspective that the aircraft is stationary and the earth is moving below us. But what would this look like if we were driving our car down the road? Here is a video clip from my own car dash cam. We can see the front of the car at the bottom of the video and it appears to be stationary. So is it the car that's moving or the earth that's moving underneath the car? Again here is our aircraft cockpit view and uh, we see that there's really not too much difference between if we're flying along in an aircraft above the earth or driving along in the car. From our perspective our vehicle seems to be stationary and it is the outside world that seems to be moving past us. Again here is our simulated view from our aircraft flying over the earth. And here is our view as we look out through the aircraft cockpit window. Again from our perspective inside the aircraft it appears that it is the earth below that is rotating underneath us. And this is the same thing that is conveyed in my earlier video. It is all about relative motion or relativity. Very simple. But what the flat earthers can't seem to comprehend is that the aircraft maintains the same altitude with reference to the ground below as the plane follows the curve of the earth below. No, the plane does not fly off in a straight trajectory, otherwise it would fly off into space if that were possible. No, it uses its altimeter to maintain a constant height or altitude above the earth below. And no, the plane does not have to nose down as claimed by flat earth believers. As always do check out my Facebook discussion page Voices of Reason to Explain X or Vortex. You'll find a link in the description area. Thank you for watching.